99.5% of all the eggs in the UK we eat are from chickens. And we've got a chicken here, and again, you can see the chicken eggs. And the, an interesting fact that we, we, we need to talk about is every egg is marked with a lion, which means it's, it's kept to the best possible you know, conditions. And oh, also, great. on the top of an egg is a, is a code, and that is, uh, every, every farm has its own code. So if you find out what your code is, you can actually look up what farm the, the eggs come from. Wow. So it's traceable you know, to every farm. So that's, that's fantastic. That's amazing. And so what do we have here then, JP? Okay, so then, again, duck eggs. So we eat a lot of duck eggs and again, they, they're fantastic, really nice to eat, much creamier and richer in flavour. Um, and, and, and again, you can use them in lots and lots of different recipes. Hooray. And am I right in thinking there's a sort of a, a, a relationship between the colour of the bird and the colour of their eggs? Yeah, they're quite similar. A lot, lot, lot of birds, uh, dappled birds, like the quail, obviously have you know dappled eggs. White chickens and white birds tend to lay white eggs. Yeah, so it's, you can actually get brown chickens that lay white eggs. So it doesn't always work, but normally that's the case. Yeah. They like to fall us sometimes, they, don't they? They do indeed. <laughs> um, so then if we move on up in size, we have our goose. So a goose egg, again, a nice rich egg, very similar to a duck egg, but just bigger. Um, and, and goose eggs, again, if you get the opportunity to eat a goose egg, really, really nice, nice, lovely egg. And then we, quails, so quail eggs. So little quails are sort of like little wild birds um, and really nice, rich flavor to the egg. And the quail eggs, you can see they're all mottled and, 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 a, and a lovely sort of weird looking shell. And yeah. the idea is that is quails actually live in undergrowth. So the mottling is to camouflage the bird, to camouflage the egg. So if the bird leaves the nest, nobody can spot where That's the eggs are. So clever, isn't it? it is, and they're yeah. so cute, those little eggs. They don't actually look like real when you I look know, closely. I know, little tiny. And when you peel them, it's a lot of work just to get a very little egg out of the but, egg. But, but it it's a flavour. Oh, yeah, lovely. Brilliant. OK, and we have a giant egg here. The giant of all eggs. And if you see our ostrich behind us, I didn't realise quite how tall they were. <laughs> 1.7 <laughs> metres to 2 metres. Wow, I wouldn't that like, is If crazy. I had 14,000 of those, now that would be a handful, <laughs> That would be it? hard work. I know, brilliant. And then the egg. Again, a really, this is a really tough egg. I think this would be a bit harder to, to, to break with your spoon for a boiled egg in the morning. Yeah, and this is a real egg, isn't it? It's just been it emptied. Is. But this, is a, this, this shell is so thick. It is, so it thick. is. And it would take half an hour to soft boil that and two hours to a hard boiled egg. And how long to eat it? I know, I'd def <laughs> definitely be a sharer, wouldn't it? You couldn't eat you all could, that to yourself. I think that would James. be a meal, wouldn't it? <laughs>